Hey guys, how are you? I want to ask you a question. Are you really profiting in your business? So one of the things that's really important with me, to me, when I'm working with my clients, helping them build their businesses and their brands, is that they're profiting. So many people are earning great revenue, but not necessarily earning great profits. And we're going to talk about that on today. I'm going to give you some things to be aware of so that you're working smarter and not harder. Listen, you can earn $100,000, but not be profiting $1,000. You could be spending over what you're earning. We're going to talk about that today. And it can look as if you're doing really well, but in your mind, you're like, well, if I'm earning all of this revenue, if I'm getting all of these clients, why do I still feel overwhelmed in my process, in my ability to spend freely? Why am I having to charge everything? All of that good stuff. So we're going to talk about it on today. If this is your first time in a video with me, seeing me on a video, I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women in business, just like yourself, helping them brand, build and profit for real in their business. I operate from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset. So profiting is a space of abundance, personal growth and business building. And I am also the founder of 3D Success Academy, where I help women to grow their business and their life. We focus on three core pillars inside the academy. Your destiny, that is where you're headed. So I believe in building sustainable businesses for long-term, not just the moment, you're just always trying to figure it out, right? But your destiny, what are you designed to do? How is your business intertwined with that? Where are you going with your brand building, right? And your life building. And then your dollars, there we go back to the profits. Inside the academy, we have a specific portal. It's called the prosperity portal, where we talk about your money. We look at your um, budget and your income and your expenses. We look at what's holding you back from your next level of increase and in income in your business. We talk about the money inside the prosperity portal. And then the third pillar of the academy is your disciplines. So disciplines, that's a word sometimes people look at as if it's a masculine thing. But no, there are specific things and I believe that everyone is committed to something, but when you recognize what the specific things are that you should be disciplined in and the areas you should be disciplined in, it makes profiting much easier, right? So we talk about those disciplines and those necessary things that really help you to build a brand and a business that you love and create a lifestyle that you love. I believe that your business should fund your lifestyle. You guys heard me say fund, like it should finance your lifestyle not run your lifestyle. And today we're talking about your profits. Are you really profiting? Guys, the whole concept of how I was building my brand and creating my products and services and even identifying who my perfect people are in order to build my brand really, really changed when I owned a brick and mortar service-based business. So I owned a brick and mortar service-based business for 10 years prior to consulting. I had um, up to 12 staff members when we were full staff, leading a staff, the whole nine. And it wasn't until I really started taking a look at my profit and loss statements that everything shifted for me. The fact that I was booked and busy didn't matter if I wasn't profiting anymore. And so many people find themselves booked and busy. They'll say they're booked, but the profit at the end of the year, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, is so low that they've actually worked harder and not smarter. So I have a client that um, I just recently did a call with before we came on. And last month when we did our call, she had gotten to the point where she was hitting like $1,600 weeks. So I work with service-based businesses, those who provide a service for consumers, most own brick and mortar service-based businesses, but some want to go into teaching, coaching, and training, and they do things from online, or they own a brick and mortar that they want to begin bringing exposure and awareness to online. 
But this particular client had gotten to the point where she was hitting $1,600 weeks, which had kind of slipped from where it was before. So she originally started working with me about three years ago. She was about 30K in her business. And then uh, she worked with me for about a year, took several of my programs, took a year from coaching and consulting, and then signed up with me for a new year. We're about three months in to this year long time frame. Um, at the point that she came to me, she was somewhere nearing her 80,000 mark. Now, this month, one month later, she hit her $2,500 week. Now, what's important about this is she didn't do more customers than she had done before. So she, she didn't do more people. She's averaging about 20 people hitting that income goal with the same number of people where she was hitting the other income goal. It's important to me that I at least get my clients, especially in the service industry, um, who are performing um, a, a service to the client that they're at least at $100 average ticket price. Now, of course, that depends on the business and demographics and your particular brand, but so many people are working hard and not smart. I want you to look at what you're bringing in and then subtract all of your expenses and look at your profit. And then answer the question, am I really profiting in my business? If someone is earning six figures and their profits are only 40,000, and then you have someone earning 60,000, but they're profiting 50,000, who actually has the best deal? So sometimes we're actually looking at the wrong numbers. Sometimes we're actually implementing the wrong process in order to get our profits. Here are five things I want you to think about when building a profitable brand. Number one, how long does it take you to perform the service? It matters, right? If you're not going to work 24 hours and 12 and 14 hours, it makes a difference to know how long it's taking you to actually perform a service. And although we don't work by the hour, we work based on value, you can get an idea of what you're actually making per hour if you look at the cost of what your service is and how long it's taking you to perform the service, provide the service to your customer. Number two, can you leverage it? Can you get help? Can you delegate it out? Can you duplicate the process, teach someone else, and multiply the productivity? Number three, all promotions are not sales. So every time I see people who want more customers or want to get more business, well, not every time, but often I see them slashing their prices tremendously. Just remember that everything that you're promoting by way of advertising, um, bringing brand awareness is not about you having a sale. Number four, add more value, not more discounts. Add more value and not more discounts. Did I say five? I'm not sure if I said five, but that's four. So listen, we're our goal in building our business and our brand is to work smarter and not harder. I help my clients find money that they're leaving on the table, opportunities to earn more revenue without working harder. It's, it's the goal, guys. So my question for you today is, are you really profiting in your business? Take those four steps that I suggested and shared with you and take a look at how you're building your business. For those of you who like to deep dive, you love support, you want answers and clarity, and you're really ready to shift to your next level in your life and your business, you can always connect with me inside 3D Success Academy. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you're on another social platform, be sure to follow us. The comments below on YouTube, you can find a link uh, to join us inside the academy. Remember, you want to know if you're really profiting or am I just working really hard, bring in a lot of revenue, but spending just as much as I'm bringing in. You guys have a super amazing week. I'm Tanya Wilson-Cherry, your growth strategist, business coach, and mentor.